And then you dress differently for the Derby, right? Yes. Well, no, 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 I'm not Jennifer Lopez. I don't get changed halfway through my day. I am in the same dress tomorrow. This could be a disaster from the beginning <laughs> all the way to the end, because as soon as I get off Premier League, I'm literally running to do my first hit on the Derby. So it's same hat, same dress. I'm very low budget, Dan, very low budget. OK, do you have an idea of celebrities who are going to be there at Churchill Downs? That's a really good question. Um, I know that we have got a former World Series winner with the Phillies from 2008. I quite remember his name, but he's going to be here because he's Jason oh, Worth, I'm being yeah, Jason, reliably informed. Yeah, he's yeah. got a horse running, Jason Worth. Okay, so he's got, yeah. I think there might be um, some other, I, I think I saw, oh gosh, I saw some somebody Hollywood somebody told me about yesterday. But me and pop culture, <laughs> down, we don't go down well. So if I pass them somewhere in the paddock, I ain't going to know who they are. Uh, Tom Brady might be there. Oh, I know him. We've talked about him before, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, is there a Tom Brady in England? Well, I mean, ha well, I was going to say Harry Kane, just to hear you say Harry Kane again. But the thing <laughs> is, the difference, unfortunately, is that Tom Brady's won everything and Harry Kane's won absolutely nothing. So I suppose that there isn't really an equivalent. Maybe, maybe... Uh, maybe Alan Shit, maybe Wayne Rooney, maybe Wayne Rooney. He won everything, scored a load of goals, a bit like Tom in his sport. Okay. Not goals, but whatever he did, yeah. Harry Kane! There we go. I knew it was coming at some point. <laughs> and you know he's left, don't you, Dan? Yes. I mean, you are up to speed with yeah, the fact. He's in okay, Germany, good. isn't he? He is ripping it up in Germany, over 40 goals this season. Although, unfortunately, he waited forever at Tottenham to win a trophy, decided to leave, has gone to Germany, to the club that won the title in Germany for the past 10 years, and this year didn't win it just as he arrived. So it's an absolute killer for him. But yeah, 40 old goals he's got so far. Were you bet on the race? I already know who I'm betting on. Okay. Uh, Sierra Leone, which is the second favorite, I think. Okay. I'm, I don't normally go for such short odds. Look at me with my racing lingo. <laughs> but I don't normally go for such short odds. But I did happen to meet the owner this morning in the queue for Starbucks. So we got chatting, Derek Smith and I. We're now besties. He's a huge Chelsea fan, so we talk mainly football. But if he wins tomorrow, I have to interview the owner in the winner's circle. So I've said to him, this is our chat. This is our pre-interview. We'll do the interview in the winner's circle. He wasn't that excited excited about the interview. He said it doesn't do a lot of TV. I said, I don't really care. Now we're best friends. I will be interviewing you in the winner's circle, Derek. Does he know that you love Crystal Palace? Everybody knows, Dan. I mean, everybody knows because I'm spreading the word far and wide. I even found a Crystal Palace fan right here at Churchill Downs yesterday. We are getting everywhere. It is, it is a movement. Who are you betting on, by the way? Who are you going for in the derby? I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Uh, Okay. We we had somebody whose relative owns a horse that is is it something honor uh, twenty to one I think so one of honor, our honor Marie honor Marie yeah yeah so I I probably would bet on uh, that okay. that horse just because one of our listeners is going and uh, somebody there owns the horse uh, the uh, weather <laughs> does weather play a role in the horse racing yeah <laughs> or the <laughs> event well. How about tomorrow know, specifically? Is, do you know the forecast? I think it's going to be dry. <laughs> um, but the track's really wet. What I don't know and what I probably are, need to are you Are you track... in Kentucky? I know, seriously. I, I, I need to brush up on my weather. Where's Dylan Dryer when you need her? I think the track is very muddy right now, but somebody told me that the drainage is very good. So I think if it doesn't rain, if it doesn't rain again. And remember, it's, it's Fahrenheit. It's Fahrenheit, not Celsius, okay? Oh, gosh. Don't give me that. And also, by the way, yesterday we had a London derby, and then I had to do a promo for the derby. I mean, it was almost a complete disaster. <laughs> Because you don't want to say derby when you mean derby. And you don't want to well, say derby last, when you mean derby. I mean, let's be honest. I'm amazed I'm still here. Because last year I did throw in a derby during the... Just 20-odd million people watching. And the English girl just chucks in a derby. God knows how I've still got this job. No one.